welcome back to the channel. I have for you today a contest entry video for Tavis, and this is for his uh, Summer Albums Contest. He's asked us to pick five albums that we associate with summer, and uh, I've chosen five that I associate with a very specific summer, the summer of 1997. Um, I was 20 years old, I was getting ready to start a brand new job, the same job I'm currently at. And uh, I had a 1988 GMC Jimmy Blazer. Uh, it was black. I had a CD player installed. And the albums that I have chosen are ones that I listen to on repeat a whole lot. <laughs> so the first one is uh, Radiohead, OK Computer. I absolutely love this album. This album sealed the deal for me, made me a lifelong Radiohead fan. Uh, when I heard the single for Paranoid Android and Airbag, uh, I was immediately hooked. Uh, this album did not disappoint. Uh, I love every track on this album. I still listen to it today on a regular basis. So, OK Computer from Radiohead. Next up we have Ultra from Depeche Mode. Um, Depeche Mode was a band that I was familiar with, you know, songs like Policy of Truth, um, Enjoy the Silence, I Feel You, they were all big MTV hits, but when this one came out in 97 and I heard the lead-off single, Barrel of a Gun, I had to have this and uh, I really enjoy this album quite a bit. Um, I don't listen to it as much as I probably should, uh, but this is definitely one that got a lot of uh, repeat listens uh, in the Jimmy. Next up, we have the Foo Fighters sophomore album, The Color and the Shape. It had the, the big uh, singles, My Hero, Everlong, uh, Monkey Wrench. Uh, great follow-up to their, to their uh, debut album. Um, I had a chance to see the Foo Fighters about four or five years ago. Uh, they, they did several songs from this album. Uh, just really love the energy that Dave Grohl brings uh, to his albums, and especially in concert. Uh, this was one that I listened to quite a bit. Big Foo Fighters fan, and uh, so, yeah, Foo Fighters. Uh, next up is an album that I discovered, I think through MTV's 120 Minutes. They played the, um, the track, uh, Every Day Should Be a Holiday, and that is the Dandy Warhols. This is their album, The Dandy Warhols Come Down. Yeah, there were two tracks on this album that I listened to quite a bit. Um, not if you were the last chunky on earth, and every day should be a holiday. I uh, really loved this um, album. Um, they reminded me a lot of um, kind of Jesus and the Mary Chain, um, Brian Jonestown Massacre. I think this might be their debut album, uh, but yeah, it's good stuff. This is one that I just recently picked up about a year or two ago, and. Uh, Still enjoy it to this day. And the last one is the third studio release from Oasis. This is Be Here Now. This was their follow up to the big hit album, uh, What's the Story of Morning Glory. I remember seeing the video for Do You Know What I Mean on MTV. Uh, Liam's voice was in peak condition. Uh, he had Noel playing guitar, he had backwards guitars, ball pedal. It was just something that was totally different for Oasis, in my opinion. Uh, the video was awesome. It was like at, a, at a, an abandoned airfield. Uh, there were fans in the audience that were like waving around uh, smoke bombs. Uh, it was a very cool video. Um, not their strongest album, in my opinion. But it's definitely one that I listened to quite a bit uh, that summer. Uh, the big hits for, for me were uh, Magic Pie, which was sung by Noel. Uh, Stand By Me, there's a song on here called Fade In Out that uh, features Johnny Depp on slide guitar and of course Don't Go Away was uh, another big single from this album so Oasis, Be Here Now. Uh, it was released on August 21st and uh, I actually started my new job uh, that week on the 16th so this one came out that Friday. I picked it up uh, right away and uh, it got lots of listens and uh, I need to go back and revisit it. Uh, yeah, that was a great summer for me, 97. Uh, there was a lot of good music that was released that year. 
Uh, you had Prodigy uh, in their album, The Fat of the Land. Um, that was an album that was new to me. Uh, I never really delved much into the uh, electronica music. I really enjoyed that one. The, the big singles were Firestarter and Breathe and uh, Smack My Bitch Up. Um, another album that came out that year was uh, by the Seahorses. It was John Squire's follow-up project uh, after leaving the Stone Roses. Uh, I really liked Chris Helms' vocals on that album. Uh, and of course, John Squire's guitar work was phenomenal. Uh, he's just an underrated guitarist in my opinion. Um, the lead single from that album was Blinded by the Sun, which makes me think of summer. Um, just really great uh, lyrics to that song. The whole album was great from start to finish, and it happens to be one of my girl albums. I'm really hoping that they will eventually do a reissue. Um, but uh, everything that I've looked up, I don't see anything mentioned about it, so fingers crossed I can find it in the wild or they do a reissue. Uh, so those are my albums uh, from 1997. If you aren't subscribed to Tavis, I'll leave a link down below. Um, go check his channel out. He does a lot of great uh, content. He's a very talented singer. Uh, he's a teacher, which I can appreciate. My wife's a teacher also. Uh, he teaches music. I'm sorry, I'm outside on the balcony enjoying the nice summer evening. Uh, but yeah, Tavis is a music teacher. He's a um, Posts videos on Facebook sometimes, on Instagram, and from what I can tell, his kids absolutely adore him, which uh, I'm not surprised because Tavis is a very likable person. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all are doing well, and until next time, take care. Thanks.